All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've tried to record this video uh, two times already, but people keep screwing it up. They keep asking me questions, and the moment I type P, it'll pause the video, and I keep forgetting this, this stupid stuff, um, or the video is just super long. So uh, I'm going to make this quick. Here's the TLDR version. Um, I have Holy Shock. I'm testing the Holy Shock uh, Stamina Intellect um, uh, Paladin build. Um, so yeah, I got Holy Shock. Let's look at the gear real fast here. Um, I have four pieces of, of of the Owl gear, which is, you know, Intellect Spirit gear. So I got Intellect Spirit rings. Um, I got Intellect Spirit neck. I have Intellect Spirit um, cape, because those are going to be a little bit uh, less expensive for you as a paladin in the grand scheme of things. Kodos, huh? I need something a little bit mm, less frisky. Uh, I need more higher level, uh, more melee oriented. Um, but if we look at our gear, I've only got 32 intellect, or, or um, plus 32 intellect. I have plus 104 spirit. Every bit, every bit of gear I have has spirit on it, um, with the exception of my 200 weapon. Um, and every bit of uh, gear, with the exception of the of the owl gear, has uh, stamina on it. So if I was an of the intellect paladin, which is basically what I just was, and I've swapped this gear out too, um, so that's the experience that I have with this build. Uh, let's put that on real quick. Um, what am I trying to say here? I would have 1,500 more mana, so I'd have damn near 3,000 mana at level 40. Um, but instead I have Spirit. My, um, Consecration is, is up to date in rank, so it's actually quite, uh, 320 mana. Um, but if you hold off on it for a second, uh, you'll get the, the double Spirit tick. I'm getting, uh, about 22 mana a second Spirit regeneration right now. You can't see the health, but the health regeneration is closer to 30 nine mana a second and when you sit down it goes up super fast uh, we'll showcase that here in a bit um i have a list here of a bunch of mobs um that i can use exorcism on while leveling and where they are and uh, what level uh, they are and so forth and so on while i was make making this video uh got hiccups great I discovered that there's some satyrs up here. I had no idea there were satyrs. I always assumed it would just be centaurs um, all the way up there. But, you know, level 33 satyrs to um, um, kill, which is really, really good. There's a bit of nuance here. So here I can obviously use exorcism on the mobs. But I want to show you guys what this looks like when you're not using exorcism um, at first. Because it has a, a bit of a weird rotation to it. So your paladin rotation gets very interesting and dynamic if you're killing the mobs super quickly so for example you might judge crusader into one mob and you then use sor and and kill them but you won't uh finish them off with a judgment or an exorcism or, or anything you'll just uh, finish them off and then you'll move on to the next mob and i just want to showcase what that looks like real fast so we're going to start with the first mob um by judging, uh, doing a seal, doing a holy shock into them, throwing down a consecration, like just front-loading as much damage as we possibly can. You notice we're not using exorcism even though we can, right? Because uh, I want to show you what it looks like if you're not using exorcism. You notice the spirit tick regeneration is still extremely fast. We're going to move towards the next mob. This guy is actually taking a million years to kill. Holy shit, and it's not cooperating at all. Um, so we're going to move on to the next mob. We're going to kill this mob with Crusader, but it's basically the exact same rotation. Down goes the Consecration. Uh, the Consecration will finish off the previous mob. Um, our Ret Aura, in theory, would have done the exact same thing. So we're going to finish this mob off with um, Crusader, and then we just move on to the next mob. I don't, why isn't he here? He was before. Get your ass over here. Same situation, except I'm exorcisming instead of um, holy shocking. But you, you can see the the weirdness of the rotation because you end up just killing them um, so damn quickly. Uh, these mobs have mana burn over here. I actually don't mind getting mana burned right now. All right, cool. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Get a crusader. I actually don't want. Oh fuck! Did I just? Yeah, I consecrated. I didn't want. I was just about to say I don't want to consecrate. My exes and my consecration are right next to each other on my Razor Naga, which I don't much approve of. Um, but I actually want to get low life and low mana really quick here, just so we can examine the the re regeneration. Hi, how's it going? Okay, two of you. That's fine. I'm going to have to use the health pot here. 
Bubble bandage. What? Why are you backstabbing me? Why the fuck are you backstabbing me? That's the sound of backstab. Am I wrong about that? What happened to me? Lash of pain. Okay, no backstab. Well, we're just lagging out. Okay, that's cute. Uh, let's use a health pot here, just so the lag doesn't kill us. Um, so what happens with this lagging scenario is um, I'll come back to the game and this mob will be dead or I will be dead. And this is either my internet or this is Blizzard. Yeah. But it'll actually wait for the mob to die, <laughs> which is really annoying. Uh, I still want to be low life and low mana. Okay, come on. Why are you so fast, bro? You can't Consecration. Throw down a rank 1 Consecration. Probably the most mana efficient. Come. Okay, cool. Alright, so you can see how low life and low mana we are. Now, I could use my um, my free critical heal, but I don't really want to do that right now. I, I want to show you how fast the, the mana regeneration or the health regeneration is basically while you're drinking. So this drink should be about 20 seconds, but um, sitting down increases the spirit regeneration of your health bar by basically um, 50%. So you can see we're going to go up like half of a, a, a health bar just because we're, we're taking the time to actually eat and drink, which is kind of interesting. I might be screwing this up, but it is what it is. Okay, whatever. I actually want to get a little bit low life here, but instead we're just going to murder her because I'm just doing this super mana inefficiently. I want to I want to repeat that with the free crit heal. I want to get low enough life that you can actually see the frit cr uh, free crit heal. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, lag. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, we love to see it. Yeah, get the Consecration down. Get the Holy Shock in there. Why the hell not? And just delete them out of existence. All right, free crit heal time. Boom. <laughs> and jeez. And then you just move it on with life. That's funny. Okay, let's actually um, go show what this looks like um, versus Undead. Am I liking this is the question. Uh, the Stamina Intellect Paladin build had an interesting rotation where even though I was using Exorcism all the time, um, I was basically killing like uh, six, six mobs before I had to uh, drink for 30 seconds, kill six mobs, had to drink for 30 seconds. Uh, this build is killing something like seven or eight mobs before I have to uh, drink it all, and the, the drink downtime is 20 seconds rather than 30 seconds. And I could probably squeak out a, a bit more of, of an efficiency with it, if that makes any sense. Uh, meaning that I'm, I'm not 100% convinced I shouldn't be using Might over Wisdom, uh, for example. Not 100% convinced I shouldn't be using Might over Wisdom. But when I, uh, if I use Might, I'll kill faster, but I'll, I'll drink more. Um, but when I'm using Wisdom, um, again, it's like seven or eight mobs before I actually have to, to, to do anything. Why am I just aggroing everything on the way over here? All right, but we, here's our undead mobs that we're going to farm on for a while. And let's just see what life looks like. All right, so. Or we can lag. Or, or lag can be a thing. Pull them with exorcism. Hit them once. Judge. Holy shock. I'm not even going to use... Um, what's the term? Consecration on these mobs. Now, I'm already screwing it up, but it is what it is. Alright. So we kill that guy. Move on to the next mob. Okay. Pull him on up here. Um, hit him once. There's two, so the, the rule of having two on you is you just kill one as quickly as possible. Consecration suddenly becomes mana efficient. If you actually are consecrating, um, you want to um, hold off on the next consecration for at least a second. What the? Hold off on the next consecration for at least a second. That way you get like the, the double spirit tick. Um, when you get the double spirit tick, it'll reduce the mana cost by like, by like 80. Um, but you can still see we're, we're killing extremely quickly. Judge, back up, seal. I missed the seal. Um, uh, it's because I lag, it's it's hard for me to to fail to miss the seal sometimes. So I've just gotten into the habit of pulling them with exorcism and then beating the crap out of them. Um, hit them once and then... Uh, so we pull with exorcism, hit them once... Uh, I can I can shock like that's actually a thing that I can do. 
Um, but I'm finding that I don't need the shock. I'm still murdering them super, super quickly, um, even without the shock. And the shock is just, it's just there. Um, shock is mostly seeming, it seems to mostly be used for mobs that are, um, what's the term I'm looking for here? Mobs that I can't use exorcism on, then shock becomes a, a much, much, much bigger deal. Um, you can see I'm not doing looting very well. Um, if I was looting, that would improve the mana efficiency significantly, um, obviously. Let's try to get some more mobs here. You can see we don't have to drink. Transition alone is our drink. Pull with exorcism. Use rank. Crusader, the Crusader. Lag the fuck out. Why the hell not? Let's get a holy shock in here, because why not? And just kill them dead. Uh, I'm not using rank 3. Um, if you're using two-hander, you almost always are using your up-to-date seal of righteousness. So I'll show why that is uh, near the end of the video here. Okay, we'll get our loot on. Pull with exorcism. Run up, hit him once. Judge the damage. And just chill. Start moving towards the next mob. Let's get the next mob in here. Let's Let's try some of this. Okay, so I'm going to try a Consecration, I'm going to Judge, I'm going to Reseal, I'm going to Shock. Yeah, he's going to die. So that might be the mana efficiency um, uh, trick here, is to just use Holy Shock to get the next mob in while you're still trying to finish off the current mob. That way you can double dip with the Consecration. That, that, that's probably the way to go. Let's see if I can do more of that. In this case, I don't need to use Holy Shock, I just use Exorcism. But you get the idea. I don't want you quite yet, my dude. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Hit him one more time. Okay, cool. Exorcism. And then we just chill. He should be dead any second now. Okay. Or not. Uh, We're in trouble, aren't we? All right, let's do some holy lights. Or flash of lights. We're good. Whatever. I'm just screwing it up, basically. Um, yeah, so let me showcase why. Um, so how I would normally... Are we just going to lag the fuck out? Heal him. What the, no, How I'd normally drink is I would actually wait until I could free crit heal, free crit heal, and then drink. But it might not be worth it, right? It might not be worth the wait. Just keep your free crit heal on cooldown. Definitely should be using free crit heal more. But um, damn, this is looking good. Damn, this is looking efficient. I'm actually really liking it, I'm not going to lie. Maybe my gear could be a little bit better. Um, let me show you really fast why we're using one rank over the other. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, this is the damage of just SOR, uh, my highest rank SOR currently, uh, with no Crusader up. This is the damage, uh, let's get the red aura off. It's 16 compared to like 32. So obviously I'm going to use the higher rank. Uh, when I judge Crusader on the target, when I judge Crusader on the target, when I judge Crusade, thank you game, um, it's 33 for um, the rank 3, and it's, well it should have shown that it's actually closer to 44 with the current rank. That might change when I get to level um, 50... That might change when I get to level uh, 42, because I do believe I get a new rank of Seal of the Crusader at level 42. Um, but right now, she's clearly out of date. She's only worth 80 uh, spell power. But this is just a general rule, is um, always check with your two-handed weapons based upon speed, which one's going to do more damage. Is it going to be um, seal of... of uh, uh, is it going to be your highest rank seal of righteousness, or is it going to be seal of righteousness rank 3 with Judgment of the Crusader? If you're moving from target to target to target, then your your combat will clearly look, look different. So right, right here, I'm not uh, bothering with Crusader. Um, I'm killing the mobs so quickly, I'm not bothering with, 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 with uh, Seal the Crusader. Because Exorcism is currently in play. Or we can just, you know, fail to kill this guy horrifyingly. Oh my god, I screwed that up so bad. This is such a bad mana efficiency. You're just going to die instantly, aren't you? Yeah, okay. just don't, don't look. Avert your eyes. There's no mana efficiency to be had here. Uh, I have, I am having no chill right now. Um, you can also loot with the two-handed weapon a lot easier, so you don't have to like, you know, 
interrupt your DPS with the whole looting thing. Free crit heal, definitely. SOR is... We're going to miss the SOR, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to miss it. So we miss the SOR judgment. Make it up with Holy Shock. And we're just going to chill. Spirit regeneration chill time. Thank you. Hit him once. Get the judgment in. Or miss. That works too. I'm stopping talking so I can focus on the efficiency. Alright. Pull the next mob. Hit him once. Okay. Don't hit him once. Put down a consecration. Judge damage. Reseal. This mob should die. You can turn on name templates, but... I hate name templates. Holy shit. Alright. Move on to the next mob. What's going on here? Okay, he's dead any second. Do I shock heal myself? Damn, they're doing a lot of damage. What seems to be the problem here, sirs? All right, let's eat and drink, because if you were really, um, let's say you could grab a mage and you could um, make him give you food and water. Again, what I like to do is I like to start the day by doing a dungeon, and specifically I start the day by doing a dungeon with a mage so I can get a bunch of, uh, of free food and water. And then once I'm out of the dungeon, I've done my dungeon for the day, um, I then get my, um, my farming efficiency on with this damn food and water, and wow. Um, the, uh, the play style is going to look, of course, completely different, um, because if you have free food and water, then uh, at least you have consecration and a bunch of spells that you just, basically, you just barf into things like, ah, with, um, basically I'd be weaving in consecration, um, because I would, I would drink like a maniac at that point, eat like crazy. Get the Consecration down, judge into him, reseal, shock him for shits and giggles. Why is he not dead yet? Okay, now he died. And then he's dead too. And you could see that basically just turning mana into damage, man. Like, holy crap. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the video here. And uh, Deus Vault Boys, I have no idea what I just got. Some stupid staff that sends shadow bolts to people. Okay, that's cool. Wish I could use stabs as a paladin. That'd be nice. Why did... Ah, that's the fucking lag. Would you please blit... Fuck off. Yeah, I know. Go away. I don't want to look at you anymore. I, I don't want to look at the lag. Thank you. Mm, I don't I don't care how much mana it costs me. Just, just go away. Get off my screen. Get off my screen. Fucking bastards. Um, the other way, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, if I had Mage Water right now, off would come the Wisdom and up would come the Might. The reason why the Wisdom is on right now is I have improved uh, Blessing of Wisdom. And I'm fighting a bunch of undead mobs, which means uh, Exorcism uh, becomes a thing. Um, but if I had more Mage Water, yeah, I would sacrifice Blessing of Wisdom and get Blessing of Might. Blessing of Might updates, I think, at level 42 as well, so she's super out of date right now, which is really bad. Um, that's another uh, efficiency thing that we can possibly do. I don't think it increases our kill time. That's the wrong seal. I don't think it increases our kill time all that much. I can try it real fast here. Uh, this is not good because I shocked it, but whatever. Oh, the miss. Yeah, that's fine. Meow. Yeah. yeah, it's not super increasing the, the, the kill time. I just have less mana to play with. Too far away. Yeah, but in theory, that is one efficiency I could do, is I could swap out with Blessing of Might. You're just, uh... Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. Aww. Oh. And this is one of, the, one of the... I was about to talk about this. I was wondering, like, should I even bother talking about it? One amazing thing about um, Seal of Wisdom um, is she can be a, a lifesaver. Because um, if you do something like I just did, where I tried to uh, do the crit heal... 
Um, so I activated the crit heal, which is only 35 mana, uh, 39 mana, and I went for a holy light, but I didn't have enough mana. If I had Seal of Wisdom up, you might, um, I wouldn't be waiting anywhere. I wouldn't have to wait seven fucking seconds before I could holy light again, just because Seal of Wisdom would have paid that extra little uh, bit of mana that I needed. And uh, you're off to the races, basically. Um, so anyways, I'm going to end the video here, and uh, Deus Vault, boys.